Hi friends, it's Deanna here today and today we're bringing you another hack. You all know my favorite thing to do is to hack Ellie and Mac patterns to create something totally different and totally my style. So I had been seeing some dresses and now I want to mix three patterns together to create something that's been sitting in my mind. So let me tell you what it is. I'm going to be using the Tress Bell Bodice because I want a crossover uh, top. I wanted it to be tiered, so I'm going to be using this Decation Skirt Bottom. And I wanted the sleeve to be a little bit poofy, like almost like a cap sleeve poofiness that is elasticated at the uh, hem, and it's a short sleeve. So I'm going to be using the Cuddle Up tunic uh, bishop sleeves but I'm going to trim them shorter and I'm going to elasticate them so it has a little bit of a poofy feel here and that's what I was going for so I'm going to use these three beautiful patterns to create uh, the dress that has been stuck in my mind and I think it's going to be adorable so let's get started <laughs> All right, friends, so like I said, um, cuddle up, press bell, and stication. I like to have my patterns in envelopes like this. Um, it just makes it easier to store. I'm going to be using this gorgeous rib knit from August Closet. It's got a really good stretch, so I think it's gonna be beautiful. I think this color, being that it's just like a, it's a solid, um, it's a good transition piece, transition color, and then I'll be able to add like a sweater or something like that for the fall, winter time, and then it's also perfect for the summer if I just wear it with sandals and stuff like that. So I think this is gonna be a very good um, everyday wear type of dress. So, we're gonna get started. I'm just going to add these all of my size. I did not change sizing on any of them. Uh, the cuddle up tunic, the sleeve on this one gathers at the top, which is great because that means that it can fit into many different patterns because you would just gather it to fit whatever your arm size size is. The tress bell, it's a fitted bed, uh, dress at the waist. And then the stication skirt gathers to fit the waist. So that's why these are all interchangeable with each other. Um, and there's really other tops that you can interchange with the stication if the top, if the bodice was not what you were looking for, but you wanted the stication dress, or if the tress bell is what you're looking for, but you wanted a different bodice, uh, I mean a different skirt, you can do that as well. So let me go ahead and cut and we'll get started sewing. All right, let's get started. I've got my back piece. I'm gonna grab his face up. I'm gonna grab my front and I'm gonna place them face down right on top and I'm gonna sew up the shoulders. So you can see the arm sizes are matching and sew up the shoulders right sides together. Okay, I'm also going to go ahead and prep my skirts by grabbing my middle tier and placing the sides, right sides together. And if you're doing a pocket, you would put up the pocket here, but I decided to not do a pocket. Sometimes I just, I don't like the bulk of a pocket and I always have like a crossbody purse or something like that. And I just, phones are so heavy right now. Like they're so big and heavy that I just feel like it's so much bulk hanging on the side of my, uh, my dress. So I don't usually love having pockets on knit dresses. I know that goes against, you know, every rule or every, but I just don't. Comment below and let me know what you think. Do you like having pockets on your knit dresses or do you omit the pockets? Am I totally wrong for not liking pockets? <laughs> All right, so once I have that first tier together, I'm gonna do the same thing for the second tier. So they, now they're just prepped out. We can also prep our sleeves because once we attach, once we get them ready to attach, we're going to attach them on the round. Um, because we're going to gather the cap, we're going to put in a gathering stitch here for them to fit into my arm side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew up these sides. Now everything is basically ready. So at the top of the skirt, 
I'm going to put in a, a gathering stitch here at the top, but I'm going to mark my halves first so that way when I go to fit it into my bodice, I can um, go ahead and match the halves. I like to do like a little snip actually better than just doing a clip because then if I could take my clip off when I'm gathering and still be fitted just right. And then I'm going to do the same for my second tier. I'm going to do, I already have actually a mark because when I was cutting it, I cut, I cut a little lip right there. But actually I forgot, <laughs> we got to do this to the bottom of the top tier anyways too because the bottom tier will be attached to this top tier. So make sure you're matching those as well. Then for the sleeve, I'm also going to put in a gathering stitch here at the top. I'm going to mark the top of my sleeve here, like the half top, and I'll put in a gathering stitch here so that it'll fit my bodice once my bodice is sewn together. Now I'm going to grab my bodice and I'm going to open it up. I'm going to match those shoulders and find the back. So there's my back. I'm going to grab my band and I'm going to fold it in half and find the middle of the band. So I'll do that first. Then I'm going to match this band and fold it in half lengthwise or widthwise. Anyway, so here's the mark and I'm going to match that up here at the mark where I marked my bodice, the half. Then I'm going to go down the side all the way to the front. So here's my, this is my arm side. Here's the front of my bodice. And with this um, band folded wrong sides together so that the right side is out and touching, I'm gonna place it right on top all the way. I'm gonna place it all, first all the way here at the bottom. And you can kind of half it if you want to and measure it out, but I kind of just stretch it as I go. So. Make sure you're kind of lightly stretching as you go to match the neckline so it can fit nicely. I don't think you have to stretch it a whole lot, so that's why I don't measure. If I had to stretch it a whole lot, then I would, you know, be measuring and making sure that it's nice and fitted, but I'm just stretching a little bit, so I'm just eyeballing it, the stretch. Just gently stretching to fit. And then we're going to sew that neckband on. I'm going to do the same on the other side. All right, so I'm going to go sew that on. And I'm going to sew the, um, put in the gathering stitch at the top and bottom of the middle skirt and at the top of my um, bottom skirt and then at the arm side of my sleeves. Alright, before I attach the sleeves, we're going to fold these, um, the front right sides together and close up the sides by grabbing the sides together and then putting this little piece at the front right here against right sides together right here. You might want to go ahead and steam this band first. It's a little wavy, but once you steam it, it will go down. Um, it's it's because it's the, the threads are pulling it all in, um, but steaming it kind of uh, blends them all out and then I'm gonna put the next one right on top and Sew them together and do the same on the other side. So you'll be sandwiching one of the edges In with the back and the front and then on the other side You'll have the back and the front together and then you'll have the edge right on top right here All right now I've got my bodice here and we're gonna mark that half of my bodice so I match those sides together and then I'm going to grab my scissors and mark the bottom just like I did with my tears uh, my tears not my I like not my like crying tears but like my dress tears okay you probably didn't think about that but I thought <laughs> so I have to explain it anyway just know that the two fronts are going to be together when you're sewing it to the skirt you're going to have one back and then two fronts so make sure you're attaching both of them to the skirt and then we're going to grab our top tier. The second tier is a lot wider. 
Um, so the top tier and make sure you're grabbing the top section and the way to tell is two ways You either will have a pocket if you did a pocket or like right here You see that it kind of goes in a little bit at the waist So this is the top area and then it goes straight and this is the bottom area Can you see that how it goes in a little bit right here? So this is the top which means that we need to gather this top the size of our waist. So we're going to put it there. I used um, the basting stitch method which is just a long straight stitch but you can use any kind of gathering method you like and what I like to do is I like to grab it by the quarter points kind of go like this and then pull from one side you're going to pull the basting stitch and gather from like side to side and so when it's gathered the width of it like that now I know that this is gathered enough and then I'll just have to even out the gathers and then I do the other side this way and pull the other way make sure that they're gathered enough so that's gonna fit and then even them out and then I start attaching them and how you attach them is you're going to attach the skirt right sides together to the bodice so I'm going to turn this skirt right side out and then we're going to start fitting the bodice into the skirt so where's my mark here's my front mark and that's where the front is here's my front mark on my bodice that I created right there and match those up then I'm going to match up my side. The bodice needs to be fitted over the skirt. So the skirt is basically going inside the bodice. Then the back, right here is that mark. And finally the other side. And after I do that, then I'm going to even out the gathers and do a better job at clipping them together once I gather those, even out those gathers. So we're going to do the same thing to the bottom of the skirt. So to gather to line up actually I didn't have to gather the bottom of the top tier I don't know why I did that because you're going to match up the bottom tier the and the middle tier together at the bottom so you'll do that as well the same way that I did this one I'm gonna remove that basting stitch that I created at the bottom of my skirt because I don't need that. I don't know why I put in that basting stitch there. All right, now this is my middle, my top middle tier. Is it middle? It's top, I guess. Bodice, it's, it's, it's um, pinned here or clipped here. I'm gonna go sew that, but because I'm using clips, it's so easy for me to go ahead and attach the bottom tier now. So I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with the middle tier where I'm just going to gather this, the width of that tier, and um, sew it on. Now we're also going to attach our sleeves, and you can actually go attach everything else and then come back to the sleeves, and I think that's what I'm going to do because I am running low on clips and because uh, I want to turn this inside out to attach my sleeve in there. So basically what we're going to do, let me show you now, I am so stubborn. Here I am saying that I'm going to do that, and now I am trying to do it at the same time. But we're grabbing this sleeve and we're turning it um, right side out. And here's my little, my arm side area. This is where my sleeve is gonna go in. This is my armpit area, and I'm gonna match up that armpit area with the armpit area of my sleeve, or right sides together, and use the few of clips I have left to clip it right there. Then I'm gonna fit the sleeve into the arm side area. And here where I mark the top, that's gonna go right here, right at the top of my shoulder seam, and clip that right there. And then from where you, uh, from the armpit up, where you, oh, I want to make sure this is my front and this is my back. So this is not the right sleeve because I do have marked my front and back. This is my back. So this is not the right sleeve. So let me make sure I get that right. Let me do that whole thing again, but with the right sleeve this time. All right. So now here at the bottom, we're going to match up and go just straight up until the side. And then it's, this is the top is where I'm going to gather it a little bit to fit because I want it to have like a little 
poofy shoulder effect. Um, the really good thing about this sleeve is that because it's a, like a bigger sleeve and you gather to fit, um, it can fit so many different patterns because um, if your arm size is bigger than the, the pattern, um, it's fine because you can gather it to fit. See how it's gathered to fit? And so now we can fit it right in there and sew it right on. Um, I want the gathers to be more towards the top than the bottom. So we're going straight here and then keep those gathers here up top. And do the same for the other side and do the same for the other sleeve. So you'll just have a little bit of gathering here at the top. Slight gather. And then I'm going to go sew this on as well. One more clip. So I guess I'll have to do the other sleeve later. I go slow and I make sure that my um, gathers are still even. So that's why I like to sew with my gathers face. Okay, when you get to the front, make sure you've got all your layers in there, caught in there, so when you sew it, they're all sewing together, all three of them. All right, we are almost done. All we've got left to do is to hem the bottom. So I'll be hemming the bottom half an inch, all the way around. And then remember I said something about elasticating the sleeves. I want this to come in a little bit at the sleeve. So all I'm doing is I am going to hem at a half an inch, like I would regularly. And then I'm going to leave a gap, a little gap where I'm going to insert my elastic. I'm gonna use quarter inch elastic. Um, and I'm gonna measure my elastic to be the width of my, um, arm so it just brings it in but you don't want it to be t tight on your arm so you're not going to want to like subtract a couple of inches like you do at the waist because then it, it might be a little tight i just do i cut it the size of my arm and then when i overlap them and sew them together that's like a half an inch because I, I put in the elastic and overlap them and zigzag stitch them on so i overlap like a half an inch so that's taking like a half an inch off of the uh, measurement but I don't want it to be too tight at my arm I just want it, this sleeve to kind of come in a little bit so I'm going to go top stitch all the way around but leaving a little gap where I'm going to insert my elastic and then I'm going to sew my elastic together so let's hem and do the elastic and be done All right, so here's my little gap and here's my elastic. And I'm going to just use a safety pin. You can use whatever tool you like to use to uh, thread that through and go all the way around. Now once it comes through, we're going to go ahead and sew them right sides together, I mean, sew them together. I'll do a zigzag stitch right there and then I'll fit it through and top stitch that gap right there and we'll be done. Such an easy little hack to do to a sleeve um, and it just kind of brings it in and gives it like a nice little like bloused effects effect um, I just love it all right friends we are finished with our tiered uh, crossbody dress with the a little bit like a flouncy not flouncy but like um bloused um sleeve i think it turned out exactly how i was picturing it in my mind i love it i think it turned out amazing this is going to be for sure a staple that i will be wearing all the time um because i just think with the color and everything and i'll just add like a cardigan and just different little things but i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please comment like share subscribe if you haven't and let me know what you think do you love this mix uh this uh I guess what would it be uh, it's not pattern mixing because pattern mixing it talks about the fabric but um it's a uh, pattern mash pattern mash do you like this mash let me know below i hope you have a great rest of your day and i'll see you all next time bye